Welcome back. This is the third video in the how-to videos training series on Oracle Learning Cloud. In this video, you will learn about how learning specialists can create instructor-led trainings or ILTs as they are known, manage capacity and wait lists, mark attendance and completion for learners who attend the classroom training, and few use cases. You have seen this schematic on how a course is created. If you have not seen, please watch the video titled Understanding Learning Catalog. Instructor-led training can be in the form of instructor-led offering or a blended offering. Each of these offerings can have one or more instructor-led activities. Let's go into some more detail of instructor-led offering. It is defined with the following attributes. There is offering start date, offering end date, primary instructor, and primary location. This information becomes available when learner accesses the offering in, from the learning self-service. The published start date and end date control the offering visibility in the catalog, which can be used to show the offering in the catalog for appropriate duration. There is no point in showing classroom trainings that existed in the past. Capacity can be enabled using maximum and minimum seats of the classroom used in the offering. Pricing and payment methods are optional you can override these as required. For example, a New York based classroom offering can be expensive than say a Texas based classroom training. A blended offering is created similar to an instructor led offering with the same attributes. The difference however is that it can contain a combination of instructor led and self paced activities. That's why it is blended. For example, learners may be required to watch a video followed by a classroom activity followed by another online learning to complete a training. An instructor-led offering or a blended offering has instructor-led activities. An instructor-led activity defines where, when, and how a learner will learn. The key attributes are as follows. Scheduling details such as activity start date, start time, end time, and time zone. There is a repeat LOV which can be used to create multiple activities if the activity repeats at a certain frequency such as daily or weekly or monthly. For example, there could be a classroom training spanning five days of a week or every Monday in a given month. So specialists can use repeat LOV that prefills information of such repetitive activities. The activity has expected effort in hours required for completion of the activity. Other important attributes are instructor, classroom, and ad hoc resources like stationery or meals, etc., that could be required during the classroom activity. The activities inside the offering are independent of each other. At the time of creating the activities, there could be classroom and instructor conflicts, which is shown with a warning sign. The conflict can be resolved at the time of creation of the activity or at a later time. Instructor led activity can also utilize a virtual classroom instead of a physical classroom. This is known as Virtual Instructor-Led Training or VILT. The virtual classroom can be a URL, which is a web conference link either from WebEx or Skype or any other similar provider. Instructor can initiate the meeting and learners can join online. However, this activity happens outside the Learning Cloud. Learning Cloud has delivered a tighter integration with WebEx. Meetings in WebEx can be created or updated directly from Learning Cloud. The recording and attendees are later brought back and made available in Learning Cloud. In future, we will add similar integrations with other popular providers. When maximum capacity is reached by means of learner enrollments, the incoming learners are added to a waitlist. Waitlist is automatically processed by the system using first in, first out or FIFO clearing rule. Learning specialists can prevent self-service users to join the waitlist. Each ILT offering can be configured individually for capacity and waitlist management. Learning specialist manages the attendance and completion for an instructor-led training. This is performed from the administrator work area. Learning specialist uses manage activities to mark attendance and capture actual effort, score, and any other info pertaining to a classroom training. Specialists can also use a spreadsheet for updating the attendance and effort for many learners at once. This requires ADF desktop integration. 
Let's go through few frequent use cases around instructor led training. Use case one is like this. A learning specialist is required to create an ILT training on project management. It has to happen in New York and it is a one week classroom training that occurs daily for a week from Monday till Friday. Daily attendance of learners has to be captured. Let us see how this use case is created in learning cloud using screenshots from the application. The first step is to create an instructor led offering and providing key information. Here we see there is a offering start date, end date, primary instructor, primary location and publish start date and publish end date. Primary instructor and primary location is optional information. Good practice is however to provide it so that learner can see it upfront when viewing the available offerings. Then you have capacity rules and if waitlist is enabled for learners joining from self service, you see that waitlist is first in first out clearing rule. That is the default pricing and payment method can be provided or overridden if already existing. After defining the offering, we go to the instructor led activity. Since this is an instructor led offering, the offering activity is instructor led. Learning specialist provides activity start date, end date, which is after a working week. In this example, repeat LOV therefore is set as daily. Expected hour each day is six hours. However, it can be modified after the activities are created. Continuing on the instructor led activity page, we add the delivery details, which is the instructor and classroom. Here the classroom is New York campus. Some ad hoc resources are also seen added. When you save the activity page, it suggests there are five activities that are going to be created. On saving the activity page, we see the five activities are created, each corresponding to one day classroom session for the five days of the week. At this stage, any instructor or classroom conflicts can be seen. In this example, there aren't any. Also, each of these activities are independent of each other and can be modified for classroom, instructor or effort required to complete the activity. So that completes the creation of an ILT offering spanning one week. Next, learning specialist would like to manage the attendance and completion of the learners. This is done from the learners info tile of the ILT offering. Upon clicking the manage activities, it shows a pop up with all the activities for a specific learner. Learning specialist can mark the learner who attend the, the activity as complete, capture the effort and score if there is any. When all the activities of a learner are complete, the offering will be completed for the learner. Learning specialist can also use a spreadsheet to update this information for all learners at once. Let us see another use case. A learning specialist is required to create a blended offering where a learner is first required to study offline, then attend a classroom session and then follow it up with an online SCOM learning content. The steps to create a blended offering is very similar to what we have seen in the previous example. In this example, on the activity tab, there will be three activities. The first one would be a self paced offline activity followed by an instructor led classroom activity and then a self paced online activity. Learner may have the option to mark himself complete the self paced offline activity. Classroom attendance and completion can then be managed by the learning specialist. The last self paced online activity completion will be decided by the content typically when learner has reached till the end of the e-learning content. When all the activities are completed, the learner has completed the training. So that is about creating and managing a blended offering. So that concludes the video on managing instructor led training. Hope you found it useful. Please check out the other videos from this training series.